Hello, I'm Matt from SCV, and in this video we're going to look at fitting and formatting hard drives in the Nova Fidelity range of streamers. Now, none of the products are shipped from Nova Fidelity with any storage fitted, so you have two options of how you're going to get storage into your machine. The first is SCV can install it for you. We'll uh, install the drive, we'll format it, and we'll check it's all working correctly before we send your product to the retailer. The second method is to do it yourself. Now doing it yourself is relatively simple, it'll save you some money and hopefully with the aid of this video you will feel confident to do so. So let's go ahead and have a look uh, how we do that. So the whole range of Nova Fidelity machines will take up to 8 terabytes of storage. That can either be on a 3.5 inch standard HDD drive like this one or it can be on a smaller 2.5 SSD like this one. You can also use 2.5 um, HDD laptop drives um, if you wish. So um, the vis differences between these two, or SSD obviously a bit quieter, uh, more expensive, and the uh, HHDs uh, are cheaper for the same amount of storage, but they do make a bit of noise. So um, if you're sensitive to the drive noise, then SSD might be a better option for you. Uh, the machines themselves don't make any noise, they're silent, so the only noise you'll hear from an over fidelity machine will be the drive itself, um, or a CD if it's in the mechanism. Um, so that's how you might choose. So once you've decided which drive you'd like to fit in your machine, uh, you'll need to make sure you've got the bits to fit it. So you're going to need to find a small crosshead screwdriver, and inside the package with all of the machines are uh, two bags of screws, some for 2.5 inch drives and some bigger ones for 3.5 inch drives. And of course your hard drive. So once you've located those, you've got everything you need to go ahead and install your drive in the machine. Now the X35, like this one we've got here, the X45 and 45 Pro, the 50D and the 50 Pro, all use these full-size caddies that slide into a bay at the back. The N15D also uses a caddy, but it's a small 2.5 inch caddy because um, that model can only take 2.5 inch drives due to the size of it, but it's the same system. It's a slide-out caddy. Um, with the X14, it's slightly different, so I'll show you that last. So let's see how we do it with an X35. So you can slide out the caddy. It just has some uh, thumb screws on it here, which you undo and do back up to secure it. Um, and you can see at the back here, there's a cutout. So this is where you want the connectors uh, on the drive. So you can see here's our 3.5 inch drive here, the connectors. So we want to line those up with that cutout. Now with the 3.5 drives, uh, the screws to secure it can be found, uh, the screw holes can be found on the sides here and then on this other side there, two on each side. So find yourself four screws and uh, tighten those into there to secure that drive in place. If you are using a SSD drive, same process, find the connecting part of the drive, line it up with the cutout, uh, this time you're going to turn it over and you'll find the securing holes on the bottom there. Just so I might need to slide it around a bit to line those up. So uh, once you've secured your drive to the caddy tray, you can pop it back in the machine and just tighten it up. You'll feel a little bit of a, a, a click as that slots into the connectors at the back. Once you feel that, you can go ahead and tighten these thumb screws all the way up. You can either do that with your with your thumb and finger, or they, they will take a screwdriver. And now that machine is ready to be uh, connected and formatted. Obviously, when you're removing uh, drives or installing them, make sure the machine is off. Um, so, X14, slightly different. Inside the package, you will find this tray, and you will also find this retainer. So, um, these are used to hold the drive in place. So once you've fixed your drive to the tray, so with a, with a 2.5 SSD as we've got here, simply screw on the bottom there. If it were a, a larger 3.5 drive, there's some different holes there that will secure that in place. When you're lining up uh, the connectors 
on this plate, you want to have them at the end where there's just one block at the top here. This, this is the back part where you've got those, those two parts there. So once that's attached, you can take your X14 and turn it onto its side like this, hold it in place. So there's a release catch here, a little cover. So just push lightly on there and that will come away. Put the cover to one side. And you'll see inside here there's a cavity. So we're just going to hold those cables out of the way and we're going to slide our drive into that hole. So there we go. Just pop that down like that. Then you need to take your retainer and just slide that. There's a little slot at the top there and that pops in. There's actually a little catch there. So if you need to take it out, just push down and pull and that'll come back out again. So let's pop that in. And then you've got a long cable and a short cable. Long one goes on the, the left, long connector. And the short connector goes on the right there. Just make sure they're all tidy and out of the way. Take your cover, slot it back in on the side there and do the catch last. Just push that catch in and that'll lock into place and there you're done. That's the drive in the X14 and ready for formatting. So the interface for all of the current range is exactly the same. So X14, N15 you have to do via the app. Um, X35, X45, 45 Pro, 50D and 50 Pro all have a screen. So this is the, the same method for all of those. Um, so you're going to need to scroll to Setup. And then we want to scroll down to System. And scroll down to Format Storage. So it's going to tell us the size of the drive and what it's going to format it as. And then an option to format. So you can go ahead and press that. Um, two options of NTFS or Linux. We always use NTFS for maximum compatibility with other systems if you want to remove the drive and um, read it somewhere else. Uh, so let's go ahead and select NTFS. It's going to give you a quick warning to say, well, if you go ahead now, anything that's on this drive is going to be lost. So we don't mind that in this case. Press Format and away it goes. It's quite a quick process. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, there we go. So that drive is now ready for use. So if we scroll back up, uh, actually press the return button and we're going to have a look in the music database. And <clears throat> in here, we can select the storage. And there we can see we've got our HDD1 drive selected for storage. So that's now ready to uh, be ripped to or have music imported into it. You can also, if you come back to the browser mode and select that, here again, you can see your hard drive successfully installed. Mm -hmm.